Hi everybody. Welcome to Showboat Sam. Welcome to Showboat Sam YouTube channel. Showboat Sam and today with Showboat Construction. We're gonna be doing a little mowing. I got contracted to mow a section for the county, the local county government here. And um so I'm gonna be going down, taking the bat wing down and the Z turn to go around the poles and whatnot. And uh we can't see if we can get this mode mode so i'm really enjoying the new shop i got plenty of space i still haven't organized the place just yet but uh i'll get around to it so uh let's get into it i gotta go set out uh set the signboard up and uh get going so we got the new dodge ram 3500 with the six seven cummins in it and it runs pretty good Yo, signboard to block the traffic. Still kind of early, so traffic shouldn't be too bad. Oh, we need to do that. <laughs> yeah, I'm enjoying the new place, and uh, company's doing really well. Just keep adding to it. Getting bigger and bigger. So the section I'm going to be mowing is the hill section, as you can see right up here. So I'm going to block this side of the road. Uh, not necessarily block the road, just kind of tell people to get over. So I'm going to stop right here and put my sign up. So I'm going to open this up. Alright. Until traffic, they need to head right. Or left, I should say. Um, There we go, change direction. Alright, so I need to turn that on. Tell everybody they need to go left to get over. Alright. So I'll leave that as a matter of fact I'll just leave this whole truck here. Switch to my uh go get the moors and uh get this party started. As you can see the yard's still a mess, I'm just it's still in the process of moving. I got the equipment lined up, but I got to get everything in order and trail it up and ready to go. So I am going. Oh, here we go. Gonna go get in the old Duramax, pull the old Batwing down with the Z turn, and get her going. Really like this Duramax, it's a nice truck. I really should have put doubles on that track there if I'm gonna be cutting the hillside, but we'll see how she works out. Okay, so I'm gonna park here on the side. Turn down this road here, park on the side here and offload. Should be good to go. All right, hop out of that puppy, jump in the old tractor, 
I'm gonna warm up a little bit. Back on down this puppy. Get it turned around here. So we're contracted to cut the front side for we cut from the the light poles here to the road. That's it, all the way down. So uh let's get it started. I guess I'll go this way here. I can cut the rest of that because you turn those little small areas, so shouldn't take too too long more and more there we go your PTO on like I said I really should have doubles but uh gotta kinda work with what you have you seem to be cutting just fine start getting on the incline that's what gets kind of tri tricky but luckily I have a split brake so <clears throat> that's how I would steer on the hillside that split brake but uh yeah she's getting it done It's just a rough cut. It doesn't have to be, uh, you know, finished mode. It's just a rough cut. But this is just like county, uh, like I said, this is just county roadside work. It doesn't have to be immaculate. So the section I'm doing is from here, from that road to this road. <clears throat> and from the pole back in the hillside. So I can get the Z turn and go around those poles real fine. Ooh, man. A little rough right there. And uh, just the main areas I got to make sure I tackle. All right, so there's the pole. All right, so cut from that pole back. Like I said, I'll stop right here. Turn around. Get it turned around. All right. I can come back. I'll, t I'll tackle this side first, then I'll switch sides. Switch, switch the sides of the road. While the traffic is still, pretty much no traffic. The traffic is still there, so make quick work of this. It's gonna be a good day. Great day. Oh, uh, kind of getting a little sideways there. Might need to add a couple weeks. Slow it down just a little bit. That's where the doubles come into play. When you're on a slope like this, it's a little safer to have doubles. Like I said, I, you know, when you're on a slope, you steer with the split brake. So you would un, un uh, split the brake, and uh, whichever way you want to turn, that's the pedal, that's the brake you would mash. And it stops one wheel, and the other wheel keeps going, and it forces you to go in that direction. So, all right. So I'm having a hard time here. Uh, all right, that's the ad split that break forces me up. So here we go, back at it. She does pretty good. I might need to eventually uh, 
buy a stronger tractor, a little bit bigger for tractor. Because this is all it's set up for, it's just highway mowing. Um, the reason I would need a bigger tractor is just more power to go up these hills because doing roadside, you know, you want to make sure you can complete the task, that's all. But it's doing pretty good. I think if I put doubles on it, I think it should be alright. So that'll be my next thing to do, just put doubles on this tractor and she'll be a little more efficient. But we'll see how she handles. She's doing pretty good so far. So I go up here, since I cut from pole to pole back there already, I can turn around right here at this pole and make another pass on the opposite way. And the little spots that I miss, I can always come back with the Z turn, and I can pretty much get it with the Z turn, so I'm not too worried about it. This was the main thing I was worried about. Close this whole hill, starting to look pretty good. Yep. Getting it done. And, uh, as long as I got a satisfied customer, I'm all right. So, like I said, this is a like a this is a local county government. So whenever you're dealing with municipalities, you want to make sure you keep those people happy. They'll always keep oh a little little rock, a little rock right there. And this is another reason I need doubles. You see? All right, let's split this break and back up. All right, let's go. Uh, that's another reason I need the doubles for the traction see I'm kind of losing traction but it's okay she'll make it so um, I'll make sure I equip this with doubles before we mow it again just to be on the safe side doing pretty good. I can't complain. Got a couple of little divvies and a couple of little spots that I missed, but like I said, I can get all that with the Z turn. That's no problem. She's doing really good. Love the way this back wing moves. It's really get more. So I'm going to take this all the way to the fence. Just make one pass on the side of the pole just for that measure. If I mow too much though, that'll reflect on the uh, the next meeting I have with the contractor. So. Oh, might be in a little trouble here. Oh, I got the power to get out of there. All right. All right. Like I said, I can get that little part right there at the Z turn. I'm going to take it towards the fence over here. Just do a nice, good job, and they'll keep hiring me. So, what I'm going to do is just make a pass all along the fence here. Because this is, like I say, the county property. The other side of the fence belongs to a resident in the area and actually that property is for sale I was thinking about checking it out before I bought the shop and uh alright so we'll take this right here we'll turn it around right here 
And if that's too steep, I got a long arm that I can do. I have a John Deere mower with a 24 foot arm, which is they, they call a long arm or an arm mower with a, with a fecund head on it. And I can mow with that as well. So I, got, I have options. But I'm definitely going to put doubles on this track. Oh, let me back up a little bit. Took this lane right here. Take her on down. As you can see, she's getting it done. Beautiful. Like I say, these mowers, I mean, it's, it's not really much to them. You keep a sharp blade on it, and uh, you know, you'll get done whatever you need to get done. Sharp blades and brand new more. It's my first time using this bat wing and this track with it, to be honest. So it's a brand new setup, so everything's all nice and tight and sharp. Look how nice that looks. Not even finished yet, so I'll make the pass just to finish this top and I'll go back across the uh, middle and then I'll break out the old Z turn to see what I what I missed and That'll be all she wrote. She's looking good. Gonna be extremely happy. And uh, they'll be extremely happy and I should receive more work from this, from doing this. So I'm gonna speed this up and uh, this has been another episode of Showboat Construction with Showboat Sam. And I want to thank everybody for watching. Watching. Remember, please like and subscribe. Thank you. Showboat out.